Knicks go into Minnesota looking to snap this losing streak and get back on track against the worst team in the league, the worst defense in the league. Knicks take a 13-point lead into the fourth quarter and absolutely choke. It was the biggest choke job of the season. Sloppy play, 18 turnovers. Sloppy Peyton, who's absolutely atrocious in the fourth quarter. No one to close this thing out in the fourth. Knicks leave a wide open Malik Beasley for three. And that was basically all she wrote. Basically all she wrote. And it would come down to an R.J. Barrett step back prayer to win the game. And it was all for naught, man. Knicks go down in Minnesota after choking in the fourth. Absolute choke job. 102 to 101. 24 and 24 in the campaign. And absolutely blow an opportunity to separate themselves from the pack in the East. Knicks post game live. Number one show for the fans by the fans. CPCK2K. Presented by Manscaped. Bro, I, I don't, I don't, I don't even know where I want to go with this tonight, man. Because it, it was just, there's just so many areas that that you just beside yourself. Worst team in the league. Worst defense in the league. You have an 18 point lead in the second quarter. It's a game of runs. We understand that. That completely evaporates. Starters lazy on defense. Can't get it together and take a one point lead into the halftime. They have an 11-point lead going into the fourth. Bring it up to 13. And you still can't close this team out? You're up by seven points with seven minutes to go in the game. What is the point of Alfred Payton coming back in the game? What is the point? To do what? Once what again the in taking the clutch. Old, taking out R.J. Barrett yeah. at that point in the game. What is the point? When him and Alec Burks were the ones that were keeping us in the game. What is the we point? had, what, a 10-point lead at some point with those two in that fourth quarter. What was the point in taking out Alec Burks, who was our only offense outside yeah. of Julius Randle, who gave us two good buckets, yeah. but then proceeded to miss the next few buckets and not have him close the game and then try and throw him in at the end and not even give him the ball. There was so many things that we could point at, like you said, and that's the hard part. Where do we point at? Because uh, looking at it, watch it several times, watch it with the stream several times at that game, um, that Malik Beasley three, you know, who's wide open. That? Uh, uh, initially, R.J. Barrett was guarding him, but at the same time, for whatever reason, when Ricky Rubio was at the top, Alfred Payton decided to go on the paint and help. I don't know who he was helping, but he sandwiched himself in between uh, Taj and uh, Julius Randle, leaving R.J. Barrett with two guys to defend, and he had to jump and, and guess, and he guessed wrong. So it's just there's so many things to point at, rotations, uh, turnovers, bad plays, one-on-one -on -one hero ball, lack of communication, and uh, – we let two rookies go out there and and look like superstars. School us, man. Tonight. Shout out to Jaden McDaniels. I'm a huge fan of him. He was one of my favorite prospects going to yeah. this draft. And and Anthony Edwards out there making the case to try to steal that rookie of the year. Just frustration, man. But that's a game that we should have closed out. We had, like you said, 18 point lead. We were coasting a little bit there in that towards the end of that third, a little bit in the beginning of that fourth, and then we just threw the game away. 32 points, CP. 32 points. 32 points. points. Where is the defense? Forget about the offense. We know we're, we're one of the worst offenses in the league. So no game is going to be easy. You're not expecting it to be easy. Even against this team, I wasn't expecting it to be easy. But even with an 18-point lead, even with a 13-point lead in the fourth, I'm expecting them to defend their way to victory. At least. At least. At the very least. But you don't take care of the ball. You had RJ who lost it off of his foot four times, bro. Four times. Yeah. Peyton comes back in the game seven minutes to go in the fourth. The first thing he does, he gets it stripped. He gets it stripped. Back-to-back -back turnovers. Back-to-back -back turnovers. And then throws it out of bounds. Yeah. You had the play that put them up two. You know, RJ got, barely got touches in that fourth quarter. You had the play that put him up two, where Peyton is forcing the issue, gets it blocked by by <laughs> by Cat, and luckily Taj was there to clean up his, his mess. Man, luckily is right. 
because if because if he didn't make that that jumper, I'm like, bro, this this guy Peyton is it, it, it's it, it's just too much, man. Yeah, it's, and it's deep, crazy bro. because we and we say it all the time. Like we try and we try and try and try and try to give this man the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, but he does not give us anything to work with, bro. Because Alfred Payton, he was having a solid start. We got it. I'll, I'll give him his credit. Alfred Payton was playing solid to begin with. Still yeah. missed a lot of gimmies. I just don't understand. He was playing solid, but at the same time, did his play warrant him to play 27 minutes in tonight's game and close a basketball game? No, no. Back-to-back turnovers, and he survived. And Alec Burks was the one that got sucked. I would have left Burks. Listen, Burks Burks made his own mistakes. It was a comedy it, of errors. But by the he whole made team. more good than bad yeah. in the end for me. Personally. Yeah, he was scoring very well off the pick off the off the tie screens. Wide I thought open, we could have yeah. used that. Because once again in crunch time, it, it becomes hero ball. You know, and I understand. Listen, Julius had it cooking. Julius was cooking in that third quarter. They had no answer for him. Baseline Julius was in the building. Step backs were cooking. He was cooking. I ha- I had no problem with that. But in crunch he was time. Till he wasn't, though. What's that? I said he was until he wasn't. Though, right. Because he, yeah. then he just went cold. When ice we, cold. We kept giving the ball because it got predictable. They knew what he was doing. Yeah. It was getting to the point where he was getting to the paint and they brought in a second man because they knew they were going to try to bully Jaden McDaniels. Yeah. I get it. They got it. We all got it. We knew it was coming next. Yeah. And then when that disappeared, we had no other offense to go to because the offense was on the bench. Yeah. So it's just frustrating. Sorry, frustrating. Sorry. And then, you know, the, the last possession, um, it's just not RJ's yeah. shot, man. It's just it, a bad the this, this, this step back. That's, just, was that's just not a shot. Yeah. I would have rather him just force it to the hoop on, on, on Carl Anthony Towns. Same. And see what happens. You get blocked, you get blocked. Maybe you draw a foul. Maybe you make the, the layup. But a step back, you know, step back mid-range, that's not what we're looking for at that time of the game. And we had five seconds left, CP. Is that you really think that's what Tom Thibodeau wrote up on the sideline? Like, Listen. is that what we wrote up with? That's what we just give the ball to RJ and, and time, see man. what happens? Like, that that's the best we can come up with with five seconds left in the game. Crunch time. Like we Ali Burks and quickly were both in. Like, I'm yeah. not saying that, you know, I don't want RJ Barrett and I know a lot of people are gonna have that narrative. I get that, but that's what we came up with because we had time and and I, I don't know i to me i just i, I didn't the execution at the end of that game lack of just, execution like, man atrocious. lack of execution killed us once again in the game no derrick rose injured which is going to be another problem can we can we keep guys healthy going into this last stretch now he's down with the ankle injury yeah. We need a point guard and we need point guard playing the worst way. We know if Rose was playing this game, he would have closed. We wouldn't have, we wouldn't even have to dealt with Peyton tonight. We know that. Tibbs has already been angling that way, even when Rose just got back from COVID. But he's he's got to get on the court, man. He's he's definitely got to get on the court. I mean, with the lack of facilitation that you get from Peyton, I don't see why you didn't just leave Burks in the game. What were you? What were you really losing? I don't think Perks's defense was was uh, was bad tonight. I thought his defense was fairly solid tonight, as it normally is. So I don't I don't get what you were really losing by by uh, you know not having him in the game. Yeah. The other thing too I noticed tonight that, and I get it. Like you know, if you want to talk about Tibbs trying to push us into the playoffs and whatnot and keeping us afloat and going to the playoffs and blah blah blah, I get that. But we saw a lineup that did not work two times tonight, and that's what I call the all-vet lineup, is when we had Alfred Payton, we had um, Alec Burks, yeah. we had uh, Reggie Bullock, Bullock, we had Julius Randle, and we had either Noel in the and first Tosh. time, and then the second time was Tosh. Yeah. And it didn't work either time. Both times it didn't work. Uh, it, 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 we had I, mean, I thought it would be a good idea because, you know, Burks was, was doing something. I just, it, for whatever reason, it just wasn't working because of all those options. Alfred Payton was the one that was pushing the issue. Yeah. So I just didn't understand what, what, what happened. And then when we go to the other lineup that had R.J. Barrett, Emmanuel Quickly, Alec Burks, uh, Taj Gitt, like th- then the ball was moving. Even Obi, like right. I know I understand he wasn't playing great tonight, but that that lineup had movement. And those were the lineups that were the, the plus for us tonight, where we had comfortable eight-point leads, 10-point leads, 11-point yeah. leads. Like those were lines. It for him, for tips to then do it again in the fourth quarter, that's when I was just like, "What's going on? What's the point? What's the game plan here?" Taking out RJ, taking out Emmanuel quickly. Horrific, just, bro. Yeah, Ab- absolutely horrific. Eighteen turnovers Terrible. against his team. They just they they just play too sloppy, man. 
Yeah. You gotta come to play every night, and they just, you know, they did for a couple minutes. They got out. I thought, I thought. Listen, I thought at the beginning of the game they set a good tone. The defense yeah. was on point. I thought they got out and transitioned very well. They had over over twelve fast break points. Knicks only averaged eight on the year on, on the season per game. Sorry, they only averaged eight per game. And Minnesota's one of the worst teams defending on the fast break. So the Knicks were able to capitalize early in the game. And I thought RJ did a great job. 17 fast break points for the Knicks tonight. If we want to talk about some positives. And they only averaged eight on the year. And they did that by being opportunistic. They got blocks, they got steals, and they got out and ran. Off the rebounds, everything. That was good. Mm -hmm. Then the starters come back in the second quarter and give everything away. All the games, they gave it back. Now it's a game of runs, right? It's early. You come back. You have an 11-point lead in the fourth. You've got to be able to shut this door, shut the door on this team. Yeah. Got to be they able to shut the us, door. They were giving it to us, man. Yeah. They were giving it to us. They, they gave them the game. Oh, man. This is one where it's just um, it's frustrating. Like I said, you are what you record. It says you are. Right now, we're 24. And we're at 500, 24, and 24. You're an average team. But you're playing a team with 11 wins, now 12 on the campaign. Worst team in the league. You can't give that game away, especially when you had the leads that you had. Let's hear from some people tonight. Angel, what's going on, man? Kick us off, bro. How you feeling, bro? Yo, yo. What's good, CP? How, How you, you doing, doing man? Bro? Pissed. Aggravated, bro. Pissed off ain't even the word. You know, like, at mm. the end of the day, you know, I feel like coaching, besides the turnover, you know, I just felt like coaching was one of the biggest reasons why we lost the game. Because, bro, like, we're up, like, seven to ten points with seven eight minutes left in the quarter. You put an L for Peyton back in, bro. What like, do we, What do we need him like, for? Why? For what do we what? need him like, for? I don't, under, I don't understand why. Like, it doesn't make any sense at all whatsoever. And then he comes in to turn the ball over. Twice. Every time back, to back. Lead, back, back to back. To back to back, bro. And survive. And survive. Like, Where's the accountability? Oh, my God, bro. Like, every time we had a big lead, he, 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 the starters would give the lead right. I don't. I just don't understand. What makes me mad is, listen, like, I understand Tits wants to make the playoffs, but you got to let the bench go through adversity as well. Like, it can't just be the starters, you know, doing their thing. And then, you know, in the end, it's like, you know, we'll give up one three, and then you'll just bench everybody in, in, in the bench and put the starters back in. And then when the end of the game, we're tired. Because we've been playing the whole game. At yeah. some point, you got to let the bench do what they got to do and step up to the plate. Because if you prepare the bench to go through those type of games where, you know, they might give up some threes and then they come back, then when the playoffs come, you're used to that. You know, like, it, it's a team game. Like, the substitution, don't make, it don't make no sense. Like, Alex Burks is our closer. I, like, I, don't, I don't understand, like, why, why not put him in the game? You know, and, and, and then, like, we're trading too many twos for threes. At the end of the day, you know, you can score all the twos you want, but if you're giving up threes, you're not going to win the game. Like, Minnesota made 14 three-pointers. There's no way we should have lost this game. Like, we beat this team in every other facet yeah. of the game except for three-pointers and coaching. Like, I just, I just don't understand it. But you know what? It's one game. You know, at the end of the day, we're overachieving right now. Yeah. You know, nobody expected us to even be at this point. And, you know, uh, we got Dallas coming, you know, and I hope he blowed them out because I want to see that look on Porzingis' face, bro. I just I just can't stand. I'm so mad right now I got a flat tire. Like, that's another <laughs> thing I mean. Oh, man, shoot. So, you safe on the bro. road, bro. It, 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 it's, it's all good, though. It's all good. You know, my future bae ass, is she not on tonight? I hope you feel better ass, you know what I'm saying? Let's go to the BX Borough. LB, what's going on? Yo, what's going on, man? How you feeling, bro? How you feeling tonight? Yo, listen, y'all doing better than me, man. I'm feeling bad, man. It's, I don't want to disrespect Tibbs. Yeah. Because he, he, he got us looking way better than we was ever going to look this season. For sure. So I, I want to start off by not disrespecting that. Yeah. But it's, it's just the fact that he's so stubborn with the rotation. Mm -hmm. and would take, like, please just try something different. That's all... Like, I feel like if he's not going to try nothing different until we go, like, on an eight-game losing streak or something, like, something drastic, that's what the only thing that's – it's like, you're going to make us suffer through Peyton through the whole rest of the season, bro? Please. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Like, quickly play. He's only – and I was just – and like you said, like, I was listening to y'all. It's not like he's out there diamond. It's not like he's out there looking like what a supreme missing? point guard. Yeah. He's out, right. there, he's out there going for self. And he, and he, I think, I think he's thinking about quickly. 
So he's out there trying to score even more. Like you said, he's not dishing. He was averaging seven assists, getting triple doubles. Now he's going out there just putting his head down and trying to get layups. Like that's what it seems like. It's like that he's is not it. Penetrating and that's it. <laughs> that he's not is making it. anybody better. So it's like yo, Tibbs, please, bro, try something different. That's all we ask yeah. him. I'm looking at the I'm you know, I'm looking at the minutes. Um, Bullock, thirty some eighty nine minutes. <laughs> He shot like six shots. You can't get 80 minutes and take only six shots. And he's yeah. supposed to be our only shooter in the starting lineup, bro. Yeah. Like, try something different. Well, we know, we, 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 know, we know the thing with Bullock. I'm, I'm sorry, but. No, you're good, bro. This, this is, this is, this is the place to air it out. This is the place to air it out, LB. Number one show yeah, for the bro. fans by the fans. Press, this is the place to air it out, bro. 